In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an inverted black and white image. So that is an image that has two symmetrical sides that are exactly opposite each other. Uh, so in order to, order to do this, we need to source some images that are, are silhouettes. So just pure black and white. So if we go and find some... Um, some silhouettes on the internet. So if you try typing in something like tree silhouette and we'll go and find some images there. And what you want to do is click on the search tools and then choose large. So that way you'll ensure that you have images of good quality. So something like this one here if we view that we can see that that is quite a nice image, high resolution. So we could um, save that one. And you want to just change the name of that so you know what it is. Okay. And what you want to watch out for is that when you're doing some of these image searches you will find some images that look great like this one here and this one here uh, but when you actually go to have a look at it it has this watermark over it so just be aware of that um, there are plenty of them there that don't have the watermark so if we come back in here to Photoshop uh, first thing we want to do is to um, open up a new file so if we go to File, a new, and what we want to do is change our dimensions here to centimetres. And we want an image that starts off being 15 centimetres uh, wide by 21 centimetres high. And we want to set the resolution at 150 uh, pixels. So that is... a uh, a fairly decent size image there, not too big, not too small. And we want to make sure that our background for this is white. So choose white background there. Okay, so you should end up with something that looks like that. Sorry. Okay, so if we go and open up our images. Okay. And I have some already saved here, so that one. And we want to move it to that grey band there. Okay, so there's our first image there, and we need to now copy that across to our new file that we just created here. So there's a couple of ways we can do that. We can select the whole image here, so either by going to uh, select and all, and then copy and then come across to our newly created file and paste. So edit and paste. So we can do it that way. Um, so, or what we can do is we can actually use our magic wand tool and we can select all of the black area only. Okay, so there's a couple of ways you can do that and then if you copy that, and come across here, we have a very similar thing. The only difference between those two here is that you can see with this tree image that I posted, you can see through the white areas there to the tree below. Uh, but if I put the other one on top, then the white areas are opaque, so you can't see uh, the image below. So it depends uh, what you um, what you want to bring across with with that image. If you want the white background or not, um, you can decide which method you um, use to copy that across. Now you can see here that this image is way too big for our canvas here, so we need to shrink this this down. So if I right click on the uh, mouse there and choose free transform, and then scale that down. Now I'm holding the shift key as I do this to keep this in proportion. So I scale this down until it's about the right size. Okay, so there's our first image there. 
and I want to bring in another one. So I'll bring in uh, this one here, some grass. Put that there. And this time I only want uh, the uh, the black area. I don't want the white area. So if I now uh, select all with that and copy and bring that over to our image here and then paste that, you can see that that covers up my tree in the background. So I don't, I don't want that. Uh, so what I need to do is get rid of that white area. And so if I use the magic wand tool, I can select that area and then cut that. So that is control X or cut on the menu here. And now I have uh, that bl black only without the white. Okay, we'll get one more image there. Uh, this one here of uh, the bird. Bring that in. And with this particular image here, we can see that the background is actually transparent. So there's no white in the background. So with um, particular uh, images like uh, GIF images and things like that, you can save these images so that they retain the transparent background. So with this one, we can go ahead and select all and then copy and then paste. And we can see that there is no white background that is covering uh, the other images there. So I'll transform the size of this. And we might just flip this one horizontal. So the bird's facing the other direction there. And there I have my uh, finished image uh, of the, um, the positive side. So positive side being that the, um, the actual objects are black and the background is white. Now what I want to make do is make a positive and negative side. So an inverted um, exact opposite um, of each other. So what I want to do first, if you look over here, we can see that these layers, we have exactly one, two, three, four, five layers, and I have switched one off. So I might just delete that one there. So I've got three layers and the background. Now what I want to do is I want to condense all of those down or combine them into just one layer. So if I click on the menu here and come down to flatten image, now I only have the one layer. So what I want to do next is actually make this canvas big enough so that I can fit this image again on, on the right hand side here. So if I go now to uh, image and canvas size, and what I want to do is click this arrow here to say, well, I want this image to be on the left side, but I want to put more space on the right-hand side here. And I can tell this here to say, put extra space on. So I want to make the width double the size. So if I make this now 30 centimeters wide, then, then I have the image now is double the size, double the width. Now you can see here that I, uh, the background here is black and that's because over here my canvas has a, a black background. So this will end up being any color that is in the background or you can select black, white or grey once you, um, you've chosen to resize your canvas. So what I want to do now is I want to select this side, copy it and paste it and bring it over to this side. So if I use the rectangular marquee here and drag it across and then hit control C for copy and control V for paste, you can see now I have two of these images side by side, um, but I want them to be a mirror image of each other. So if I now right click, go to free transform and right click again and then flip horizontal. There I have the two images side by side. 
and they are exact opposite of each other. Now if I just, uh, if I click on this move tool here and hit the arrow keys, I can line this up perfectly. Okay, so I think that's pretty close. I've got a little bit of black on the side there, but that's okay. Now what I want to do with um, this side here is make it the exact opposite, so I want to invert the tones as well. So I want it to be the negative of this, so that the objects are white on a back background. So what I want to do with this is then go to image and adjustments and then go down to invert. Or you can simply just press control I. So if I do that now, you can see that we have the exact opposite here. One black, uh, white on black and the other black on white. And to finish this off, I want to now flatten the image. And if you've got any overhang, like I've got a little bit of black there, you can use the cropping tool just to crop that down a bit. You might have to zoom in a little bit there and move that across here. Let's crop that down. And then what we want to do is file, save as, and we want to choose a, a JPEG there. And then just re rename your um, file. I'm going to call it Photo Montage 2 and save. And then the options will pop up here. Um, for the photo quality, something around 7 or 8 is, is good. If it was a full scale colour image or something like that, you might want a higher quality. But for what we've done here, black and white, then the quality 8 there is, um, is more than enough. And you just want to leave this area the same. Okay, so there we have it, and if we go and check that out now in the JPEG form there, uh, here it is here, photo montage number two, the one that we just saved, double click on that, and there it is. Okay, so that is a an inverted image, uh, negative opposite of each other, uh, made with Photoshop. Thank you.